Hi family, this is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy, and I am a colon hydrotherapist that practices the art of internal detoxification through the use of colon hydrotherapy, herbs, and natural living. And today's video is all about deep breathing and what that means and what it looks like. So what I've learned in the last 13 years of being a colon hydrotherapist is that part of the reason why many of my clients are constipated and or have other additional health issues is due to lack of oxygen and circulation from shallow breathing. And so what does that mean? It means that all the breath is moving right here in the chest area, upper chest, but unfortunately, and luckily, there are no organs that sit here. All of your organs sit right up under your rib cage, literally. So if you're breathing here, all of your organs from here all the way down to your toes are not getting any oxygen. So when you start to breathe deeply, you start to flood your system with new blood, circulation, and your organs tend to inhale and expand and as you exhale they compress so technically when you're breathing deep you're giving your body an internal organ massage right and then you also send a lot of new blood and energy to your brain so when you are feeling foggy brained when you feel like you can't make a decision <clears throat> when you feel like there's a lot of congestion in your nose ear throat or pressure from a headache you're probably not breathing if you're feeling very distended in the abdominal area or your back is hurting or you feel like your legs are tingling, that could be due to lack of circulation and oxygen. So I'm going to give you two ways in which you should be breathing or one is actually a breathing practice and the other is actually how you should be breathing. So the correct way to breathe is to breathe in through your nose and then out through your mouth. However, there's a second caveat to it. When you inhale, you're not going to inhale to inflate your chest area. You're going to actually, and I'll open my, my shirt, my jacket, you're going to inhale right underneath your navel, right here. So when you inhale, you're going to push your belly out towards the universe. As you exhale, you bring your belly navel to the back of your spine. As you inhale, your belly goes out. As you exhale, you push your navel to your spine. Inhale, exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. That's how we should be breathing. So when you inhale, you inhale through your nose. As you exhale, exhale through your mouth. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So just by me doing that, I get this like flood of energy and I can feel it like all through my head, through my ears. I can even feel it through my locks. I can feel it all through my neck. I can feel it down my shoulder blades. It's a beautiful way to breathe. That's the actual way we should be breathing is inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouth. On your inhale, you want to send your navel out towards the universe. On your exhale, you want to bring your navel into your spine. So by you inhaling and exhaling just like that, you're creating this internal massage that happens. The second thing that happens when you breathe very deeply like this is that you are pumping your lymphatic system. So your lymphatic system is what keeps your immune system high. Your lymphatic system is the sewer line of your body. It's the trash that, uh, or the trash line that um, pushes the waste out of your five channels of elimination, which are your colon, kidneys, lung, skin, and then the fifth for women is our uterus. So your lymphatic system will purge all of those areas when you breathe very deeply. But when you're not breathing deeply, those five channels of elimination, which are your colon, kidney, lung, skin, and then the fifth for women is our uterus, you will start to have backup in those areas. 
So that looks like a cold. It looks like a fibroid. It looks like constipation. It looks like kidney stones. You see where I'm going with this? <clears throat> so when you're breathing, you want to keep that in mind. Also, deep breathing lowers your um, stress level. So if you're feeling very stressed and things are very chaotic, breathe. Slow it all the way down. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Right? So that's the way that you should be breathing every day, 24-7. You start breathing that way and drinking water, over half of your issues health-wise are going to dissipate. Now, the second tool that I want to give you is a tool called fire breathing. And fire breathing is a very easy meditation on your breath to clear your ear, nose, and throat channels, but it also purges your five channels of elimination. And so what happens is you take a deep breath in through your nose, you exhale through your mouth, and then you take another deep breath in, you hold it, and then you inhale and exhale very quickly in and out through your nose. So I'll give you an example. And you always want to blow your nose or clear your nose or anything before you start doing this because snot will start flying everywhere if you're congested, okay? So this is how it goes. I'm going to close my eyes and do it for you. Yes, so that's fire breathing. And what that does is, again, it opens up your ear, nose, and throat channel. So if you have any type of congestion in your body, head cold, sinus, or anything like that, that fire breathing will literally burn that mucus up and it'll just literally, it'll start pouring out of your mouth or out of your nose, out of your mouth, sometimes out of your ears too. It's really, really intense. I actually love that cleansing breath. And actually, a cleansing breath is probably better than calling a fire breath. But I'm assuming the reason why it's called fire breathing is because you do get this surge of like heat burning up all kind of like congestion and yeast and mold and all that crazy stuff up out of your system. So again, what you want to do is you want to take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through an open mouth. Another breath in through your nose. You hold it and then you inhale and exhale through your nose for about, I say, say, you know, take a minute to do it. If you can't do a minute, work yourself up to a minute. So start off in like 15 second spurts, right? Just time yourself. Or if you want to do it 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, then build it up to 60 seconds, do it that way. But normally what I do is I do fire breathing for a minute. And then I stop for 30 seconds and then I do it again for a minute. And I do that for five rounds of one minute each in the morning. And that's my meditation. And I normally start that meditation off with some warm lemon water um, with a little bit of cayenne extract dropped in the water. I'll drink that first. I'll blow my nose and then I'll do five rounds of one minute each of fire breathing. And I'll do the fire breathing one more time. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, inhale through your nose, hold it, inhale, exhale. And that's fire breathing. So I leave you with that. Have plenty of fun with breathing and learning how to breathe correctly. And then implementing the fire breathing into your daily meditation. You can do this all day long, you know, in the morning, for lunch, for dinner. Do that for seven days straight and then let me know how you feel. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 562 682-0818 and then you can also reach me on my website at moya m-o-y-a bodycare.com and then i'm also on instagram and facebook under moya body care 
Until then, happy cleansing. Be safe. Mwah.